Greetings, hello, it is V from V Love and Crystals. What's up? Hope you're doing well. Today's a deck review on my or my top uh, Jasmine Becca Griffith decks here, the only ones I actually own. So if you want to keep watching, please do uh, subscribe. I have more videos coming. If you have Jasmine Becca Griffith's decks, um, then please let me know in the comments which ones you own. So this is called the Oracle of the Lights and uh, the Lights. I'm sorry, Oracle of the Shadows of Light and Shadows. Beautiful creatures, and then these are the ones that I created. This is Porcelain Dolls, Love and Lormans, and Bittersweet Love Tea, which I'm gonna get very soon. So uh, yeah, thank you for being here. I love doing these kind of uh, videos, talking about cards. Um, I got discouraged for a while because people weren't really watching those type of videos. So if you want to see more, please let me know. Um, yeah, I would love to, you know, include more on this channel. I still have a lot of decks. So this is called the Oracle of the Light and Shadows. Lucy Cavendish, uh, that's her, that's the, the creator. She wrote the, the book for this deck here. She put the words on here. And then it's Jasmine's uh, Masterpieces. So this is really pretty. This was actually gifted to me from Gifted Soul 777. We like to do what well, we used to do, deck trades. So this one's just so cool. I love the borders. It's on gloss finish. And there's 40 plus cards. So it's in the 40s. Comes with a book and a box. <clears throat> so pretty. I love looking at these girls' faces. And you can see the evolution of Jasmine's art. How it has changed over the years. So that's, that's this deck right here. Okay, it's a little glossy, so sorry for the glare. Okay, the next one is an actual tarot, Beautiful Creatures Tarot, and it is gilded. So, so, so beautiful. You know, with this tarot, it is very hard to connect the suits with the imagery. So, like this, Seven of Pentacles, it's very hard to make the connection, Ten of Cups. But, you know, it's hard, it's hard, you know, it's hard to find images to, to match exactly um, the tarot keywords. So, but I do love it, I do like working with it. With it. So, very pretty. So that's the Beautiful Creatures Tarot. I have separate reviews over on my channel if you want just a thorough re review on these separately. Okay, and then we're gonna get into my decks that I created with permission. Jasmine let us, uh, she, uh, uh, I think last year, 2022, she put, she inserted 625 of her masterpieces, her artwork into the public domain and gave us permission to use them for commercial purposes. So, uh, you can see a few people creating mugs and shirts and stickers and keychains and clothing and decks. So I was a fan, I've been a fan of Jasmine's artwork even before I got into tarot. And then I saw that there were oracles and, and beautiful, you know, car, yeah, other, car, other oracles with uh, Jasmine's work. And I'm like, man, that's so cool. So I, I you know, try to start my collection. And, um, and now I'm like here on the bandwagon creating more because I really, really, really love the different types of uh, girly faces that Jasmine puts together that she draws. So beautiful. So um, I did shuffle them together. I do have deck reviews on these separately if you want to check them out by themselves. This is called my Porcelain Dolls Love Lenormand and it also comes on glossy cardstock. So it was very, very challenging trying to find all of the, um, you know, uh, pictures to match each of the Lenormand's keywords. Plus I added 17 of my own to make it a 53 card, card deck. So for the sun, I chose sunflowers, bouquet, I was able to find, you know, bouquet of flowers. For the dog, I did find Toto here. Uh, fox, I did fi find the snow fox. So I put all of these keywords down below and basically it's a, it's a love Lenormand. So it's just for love, but you can use it for or, you know, everyday, uh, um, what's it called, situations as well. You can apply them to general readings. It doesn't always have to be love, but I did have that love flair embedded into it because I really, you know, it seems like love decks are really selling 
and it's easier to work with, I guess, for love readings. So I changed some of the, the words around so it can pertain to love readings. So you have book, you have the book there. I'm sorry, right here. Uh, and then I put my own spin on it. I added 17 extras, like I said. So unimpressed, masquerade, anchor. So the anchor is on her tattoo. Sorry, you can't really see. So she has a tattoo of an anchor. And then we have the mixture of my bittersweet love tea, which is very raw. So it's not for the faint of heart. If you are very triggered or feeling vulnerable or sensitive after you know, coming out of a relationship or if you're in a relationship that's very heavy, then maybe don't use this deck. Um, so it's very, very honest, very direct. And it, it was going to be called Queen of Swords Love Truths or Love Confessions, but I, it was too much to say. So I changed it to Bittersweet Love Tea. So, um, and there's a lot of pinks in here. We cha I changed the, co the coloring to just be pink. So it's not as colorful as the other one. So clouds for the Lenormans. You got the clouds, storms, storm up there. Um, bittersweet again. They're trying hard to earn your love. You're at the point of no return. The end is near. Ship. So, you know, for the Lenormans, I did find a ship. So, that, you know, I really tried my best to bring the Lenormans to life and actually find things that pertain to the Lenormans keywords like hearts, um, birds. This is an extra a mountain. So the Lenormans is really, 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 <laughs> it took a lot of work and it really is true to the Lenormand style. So if you're looking for a Lenormand love deck, this is your deck. And then I blended in my bittersweet love truths, love messages here. So you see the whip here for the Lenormands. It was so hard to find images to match the, the keywords. And then, yeah, so I love these. I love shuffling together because they just pack a powerful love punch. And so, oh, this is for my other deck, which becomes her. That is the one that's retiring, actually. I have to make a video of all the decks we're retiring. So if you're interested, check out my, my Etsy shop to see which ones are going off the shelves. You won't see them anymore. There's 11 of them. So these are, yeah, this is the the uh, combo deck and we have I'm um, creating more of these jasmine decks different themes of course different colors uh, you'll see what the next one looks like it's a nice pretty color this one's pink you'll see what the next one is so that's what I have here um, as far as my jasmine collection I can't wait to make an update video with more if you want any of these decks they are um, links below my Etsy and eBay shops and I also sell them for cheap via PayPal and Cash App. But you have to inbox me, you know, privately. VLoveCrystals at gmail.com or on Instagram, my verified account. So also wanted to mention we have, I created a community page for everyone who has our decks. So if you have any of our decks, we are getting together to, you know, uh, do the like little card, daily card pulls or just, sh you know, share fun in there. Meet other people who have the same decks from our shop. And I really appreciate it if you decide to, you know, join us. And if you have any red decks, please do uh, share or tag us on social media. So that's it for my little collection here. Um, I'm actually doing a pick a card reading uh, for, for what's coming next in love. And I'm using all of Jasmine's decks. So if you're interested, check out my pick a card channel. I'll link it down below. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know. Do a video tag. I would love to see what's in your Jasmine collection. Bye-bye.